Yeah, I know. I miss you guys, too. And apparently I've been going so long that these assholes think they're going to get away with it all of a sudden. So let's start with professional bigot and some of the GOP's best friends, Jesse Lee Peterson, who wasn't able to join his fellow conservatives in celebrating the elevation of Amy Covid Barrett to the nation's highest court. Well, I'm sure he's thrilled to have somebody on board that can join in his disdain for female bodily autonomy. This was overshadowed by the disgust he felt at women having man jobs. Quote, this woman thinks that she's above men and that she is a man and that she can go to work and raise children and be like a man. That is not true. End quote. And while I do agree that that's not true, that doesn't excuse him for saying it. And apparently when he saw that wasn't enough misogyny to coax me back onto the podcast, he also took to the airwaves to lament all, all Republican women that were elected to the House of Representatives. Quote, they have weakened the party by putting all of these women in charge. The strength is not in the women, it's in the men. End quote. A statement that would be a lot easier to take seriously in a week that Republican men didn't spend hiding from the term doctor as it applies to women. But Jesse Lee wasn't the only one taking advantage of my absence. My arch nemesis, Lori Alexander, has also been saying words again. Her latest tirade against the evils of her own human rights came in response to a New Yorker cover that you probably saw. It's the one that shows a chick on a Zoom meeting where she's wearing a really nice blouse and has her hair and makeup all done up, but she's wearing gym shorts and flip-flops, and everywhere the camera isn't pointed is a mess of discarded bottles, cats, and discarded masks and gloves. And this humorous illustration of how our lives were transformed in 2020 pissed Lori off because that pan-racial bitch on the cover didn't have no babies on her teats. Quote, Many women no longer are good housekeepers. Instead of nurturing babies, they are nurturing cats. They find their escape through alcohol. Blah, blah, blah. Feminism is Marxist. Blah, blah, blah. And then she concludes, quote, with a cluttered home, only cats to cuddle with, and a cold screen to stare at with a drink in their hands, they are finding that their lives are more empty and meaningless rather than fulfilling. End quote. Now, Keep in mind that this is the same piece of shit that celebrated the plague that's killing thousands of people a day because it was forcing some working mothers to stay home with their kids now that they were laid off and uncertain how they would provide for their families. And look, Lori, you pissed me off plenty before. Hell, you achieved arch nemesis status years ago, and I bet your pampered ass thought I was going hard on you before. But now you've come after cat mommies, and I can't have that. You can have my freedom, but you'll never take my chonkers. The gloves are coming off, Lori, and I mean that metaphorically. There's no way I'd get within 20 fucking feet of you without proper PPE. And on that note, and with another promise not to make it so long in between visits, I'll hand things back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli. <laughs> 